All right, all. So my skirmisher is now made to the old maze. And he's actually getting along fairly well. We've managed to uh, kill Urkus in the Tempest Peak along with several vaults, some graves, and uh, just several of those like um, normal vaults you've usually seen in some of the earlier dungeons already. Now we're going to the old maze. It's the altered old maze, so it might be a little bit of a nuisance, but it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Let's get to it. Now, apparently my online profile is disabled, but whatever. And there's a temporal guy here. Didn't realize temporal horror is spawning here, but I guess any horror can spawn in here. So, might be expected to see those guys. Kill them. Stay. Kill those oozes. There's another temple stalker. One of it changed it around so that the temple horrors are, are making more of an um, appearance now in the old maze. That wouldn't be a bad thing because uh, temple horrors are not really seen in a whole lot of places. Yep, there's definitely a lot of temple horrors appearing now. So, a little bit different. And our frenzy's ended, because you know. Frenzy's a little bit bugged at the moment. Stay. That guy certainly took a beating. He must have heroism or something on. No rare Brecklorn. Find a lot of those guys for some reason. So there's definitely a lot of temple horrors now, which is not a bad thing for this place to have. Though I wonder what's going to happen with uh, the Mentor boss if uh, these guys are sort of appearing instead of, you know, that guy. It's going to be like Temple Fiend Brawler now. Which would be kind of interesting, I guess, in a way. Okay, this guy's a Master Summoner. A dead Master Summoner. And, oh god. Arcane Blade and our guy. Let's go here. And that wasn't what I wanted to do. That'll work. Okay, I'm gonna activate Lightbringer right about here. Just breathe that that direction. Zap, zap, zap. I think this guy's a corruptor or a reaver, so he's got corrupt his strength. I think this guy's a reaver. Let's do this. Take out that guy. That was interesting. Not too bad, but worrisome enough those guys were. Stay. I actually sort of did that wrong with that jelly there. I actually deflected that uh, projectile. Boom. Stay. Okay, so that's it for this floor. So Temporal Horrors are not making an appearance here now. That's interesting. That's a nice little change. Same with like uh, uh, the other guy. Shroud skin being changed to be more uh, melee oriented. Hmm. Is there anything 
in here I maybe want to use as the ultimate question. We'll use that because it's got more light rays that one I just put on. I'm going to keep the other one just because you know it's got the uh, ability to um, reduce luminescent horror damage when I run into them for a moment. Apparently I missed that guy, but oh well. Drop this here. There's a giant spire coming from me there, but let's kill this guy here. That worked out pretty well. So that hit me. Real clear ooze. Luckily he died really quickly for me there. There's a Drake over there. And he's going to frenzy all them. So those guys are all going to die in about five turns just to sort of show it off. Frenzy's, yeah, that's basically how Freddy's frenzy is so bugged. They basically just die. That worked out pretty well. Dust to dust. Not buying ghouls and such. Awesome. Oh shoot, we got ourselves a unique. All right, so this guy's a unique. He's got train reactions, so he's got traps. He's got dual strike. This guy is a rogue. On top of that, he's also a summoner. So he's really, really scary. Okay, we're gonna do bash and smash just to start him off. Then I'm gonna vault over him. So he used science bit, I deflected the projectile to the north and that's why basically it hit there. Um, I'm gonna activate this right there. Activate this guy here, but we're just gonna do that. Boom, boom. He's taking damage from the Lightbringer here, which is very nice. Move that guy there. Move the Hydra there. That wasn't too bad. But, I want to be very careful of Uniques when they pop up like that. And that is it for them. Okay, we level up, so bump. There is now power is money, 5 of 5. I'll get that at level 24, but I'll be a nuisance to pick up because I mean I have access to the Dark Crypt at that point. Um, I'm temp at this point, I've basically gotten all the skills I really need to get, but I think we're going to pick up a few of the uh, Tireless Combatant skills. These, these talents here basically regenerate your stamina and your he um, health quite well. Um, breathing Room, how it works, it basically gives you a little bit more health regen uh, or a stamina regen you know, initially and then once you get in the third town point it also gives you an equal amount of life regen while it's active. Pace yourself basically slows you down but uh, it gives you decreased fatigue so you don't have to cost so much when using your talents. Dauntless Challenger 
when you're going gets tough, it gets tougher. You get more stamina when guys are in adjacent, you know, inside of you. you get life regen at the first time point. Turn of war, basically, uh, you spend your um, each turn you spend time, you gain resist all and you know resistance cap. So basically, you get the ability to um, increase your resistance to attacks. Basically, you're eternally going to keep going forward with it. Get a little bit more willpower. Keep forgetting I'm already, you know, ready to go. Looks like there's a bit here cut off, but um, can't get to it, so won't really worry about it. Okay, this gives me combat training, resist all cap, more cunning, critical multiplier. This is kind of a nice amulet, but I'm not going to make use of it, I don't think. There's an anti-magic mace, which I don't really care about then. At this point, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fine with replacing these boots with something else, so... These only give me 11 more additional stamina, a bit more stamina regen. These give um, 20 stamina, more regen, more encumbrance. We'll put those on just because they're a little bit better. And this gives me slow global speed on things I hit. I get a little bit of temporal damage and nature damage. I do burst damage. As opposed to this, I think that's probably a little bit better, so we'll put that on. We'll get rid of some of the stuff I don't need anymore. Grounding steel, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I've got these here. I'm trading my willpower up high enough at this point that I'm thinking about possibly maybe taking this off. Or this off. So we replace it. Just because the shielding ruin would be more beneficial than having two regeneration ruins, I think. Or two infusions, rather. So. We'll bump that off, and I'll have a shielding ruin at the ready when I need it. All that is just garbage, so goodbye. Those guys are getting slowed every time I hit them. Okay, this guy hit me there, so he has to die because he's a nuisance if I don't kill him. It looks like Eldritch Horse are still popping up in here, but I haven't really noticed any dangerous ones really popping up. Stay. Only bad thing about the holes in the floor, they don't really. Work well with the I'll Explore. Interesting spider popping up there. We got ourselves a movement infusion of the sneak. So that one has a cooldown of 17. It's a little bit slower than the other one I'm using and gives a little bit more ping effect, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this one here, I think. Let's pop this guy. Ow. So that's done. They're all dead. I'm definitely doing, I think, a bit more damage with this um, sling. Oh, they're all going to die from the frenzy in a moment. Okay, someone's at the door, so I'm just going to go check who's here. Alright, sorry for that break. So, let's continue on. Third floor. Just a bunch of these guys. Ooze is here. Now, Ooze is actually a great thing for the light brain to deal with because this guy's going to hit everyone around me, so they're all going to get hit as well. So that's great. Stay. 
stay, stay. And that's it. So we may basically explore the rest of this level. And that gives me mana, mental crit chance, but nothing really spectacular about it. Alright, nothing else really catch my interest here. So on we go. Find ourselves a hole and drop down. Now hopefully the boss won't be too close to me. So I have, you know, a chance to start of dealing with these guys up close that's come close to me. Like that guy and uh R2 has fought. So I got a little bit of breathing room before we actually fight the boss. Note how light, nice my light race is. This is where having good light racing can really pay off to make things easier for you. My light race is currently 10 of 10, so I see as far as um, my, my vision sees. Note that I'm sort of like going down like this sort of like, you know, um, careful pattern. The boss apparently in um, this dungeon, the alternate Minotaur, he gets a little bit stronger when you um, encounter him in higher difficulties. And it's, it's mostly because he's a brawler and brawlers got updated to be a lot stronger, so there's a reason why he got stronger. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, but he can get real close and stay close because he's got um, Rush and other stuff, I think. Most of his on these guys. Okay, there he is. So here is the uh, Horn Horror. So let's just have a look at him. So he basically has uh, some awesome abilities. It's basically deal with you. He's got like the spinning backhand to charge at you. He's got that uh, tentacle grab they used on you to get me close to initially. Really difficult to sort of deal with. So some horrible powers twist this brute minotaur into something altogether more terrifying. Huge tentacles undulate from his back as it clenches and unclenches his powerful fists. And he also used uh, grapple or other stuff on me, so that's gonna be a nuisance. Let's do this. That didn't get rid of grapple, but hopefully it won't really matter too much. I'm going to basically activate this. We'll activate this prematurely. We're going to drop this um, right here. What does happen? Um, so he used the lightning ruin on me there, and then he jumped over here for some reason. And then he's spinning back in there, so, you know, he's just jumping over the place at this point. And I am getting horribly, horribly beat up here. Okay, I'm going to actually use Tumble right away. And I'm not going to be able to outrun this guy, but the thing is that... I'm just going to try... I'm basically just going to try and hold him off. A little bit. Is the thing. Alright, he's going after my, um... Lightbringer at this point, so yeah, he's he's really tough. He's got a nice little combo going. There goes pretty much all my. Okay, there we go. So he can be a real issue, but. I managed to get out there okay. Basically, if he has a chance to batter you with his powerful fists, he's going to batter you with his powerful fists. But we got out of there pretty much just by luck. He, you know, got stuck on my Lightbringer. 
I don't think the lightning uh, rune activated very well for him. Okay, ouch. Um, this guy doesn't look like he's going to be too fun. Let's do this. Let's activate this here. Oh good, these guys are not very good against light damage, so this guy will do more damage to him, I think. Um, we're going to basically jump this way to get out of the melee of him, I think. Power him with that. Kill that guy. That was a very, you know, annoying little guy. That's done. That's done. Yeah, I'm just at this point taking stuff with my shield. Because I feel like I can clear this instance without much issue and out the horn horrors out of the way. Go back to this chest. Let's maybe activate this guy right there. Not just enough to get my experience all the way, so almost got to level 23, which is not too bad. Means I don't have to worry about getting to level 24 any you know sooner. Now I'm actually thinking about possibly going in here and getting jettisoning these gloves. I was thinking about using it for strength, but really, the thing is I'm going to use the Worm Breath, I think, for quite a, quite a while, and th these gloves here, they're nice for the physical power and all and all that, but I don't think I really need them for strength, so, so to speak, so I can probably just them for that and just rely, rely on a ring to do that. Do 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 do. There's a mind star. Interesting mind star that actually boosts up my um, stats a little bit. Gives me a little stuff on melee hit. I basically do an arcane burn, but it's also got anti magic disruption, so I don't really worry about it. I finally found something to uh, sacrifice to the um, the spell hunt remnants, so I'll do that. Wow, that'd be a nice armor if. Uh, was an anti magic, and if I had the strength to wear it, I'm gonna say neither of those things are really that much better than the current one I'm using. Those pouches down there. So I think we're good to go. So, I can use this uh, quickly to um, destroy this. I now got tier 3 spell hunt remnants, a little bit more powerful. And we are out of here. So Shelter Fortress has been updated again. My guy's calling me back probably to, because uh, there's something wrong with the, you know, the other room. I guess we'll go back there to see what type of boss we're going to get this time, just in case it's going to be a botter. There's going to be a botter, I want to find out, you know, sooner than later. So raw recall, blah blah. We'll do that a bit later. 
Okay, so blah blah, I will check that out, thanks. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue. Okay, so it's a devourer, so this guy is going to be kind of an issue, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Looks like he's got um, a Norfil talent mixed with uh, anti-magic Oozmancer talents, which will be very interesting for him. Can he see me? Yes, he can. Okay, so here he comes. We're going to do a kill shot to injure him a little bit. He's already saying the in to use. Oh, nice. He hit his friend there. Um, he used Acid Fire. No idea what this does, but I don't want to be in, I don't think, so... We'll jump back here, maybe. I'll level up on that guy, sure. And there's combat accuracy all the way up to 5-5. Five, five. Next time we'll be able to start getting stonewalking 1 of 5. That'll be interesting. Much like before, constitution is you know, something I have to beef up. But this character, as I said, I think at the beginning, I'm going to possibly raise up my constitution stat normally. So it won't be as big an issue. Um, we're going to get this up to 3 of 3, I think. And then we'll get maybe this up to 3 of 3. Boost that up, I guess, a little bit. Okay, there's that guy. Let's step out of that. Activate this now. Boom. At least it slows him down when I hit him, so... That's not too bad. He's taking a beating. Awesome beating. Awesome, that's close enough to hit them. So note that this guy's got like a range of about 5, I guess. Is what you can expect on him. I guess this guy's damaging him each time, so... These oozes are constantly spawning. Alright, there's one more in here, I think. There's usually, you know, free devourers. So that guy's dead. We found ourselves this thing, a cashmere wizard hat. A little bit of resistance to light and darkness, spell save, man each turn, equal one hit, silent hit, hate, spell power, spell craft, information, stealth seeing, circle of warding. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting for a hat. But do I want to get rid of my two light radius for it? I'm going to keep the other half, but that's actually a really interesting sort of thing to sort of have. The Circle of Warding, that'll be useful to keep stuff out, you know, of like, you know, um... Basically, I create a circle that will slow incoming projectiles by 13 and attempt to push other creatures out of a radius that I'm, like, around when I basically set it. So that'll make it easier, harder for guys to basically get into melee range with me to begin with. And then the other stuff like seeing visibility, see stealth, um... Regeneration of mana, stuff like that, that's all interesting as well, so... I might get rid of this. That wasn't too bad. I can get behind that. Okay, so I've got like the Ruin Halfling Complex. Note these guys are hostile because I got the Shielding Run. I think we'll go to Daikara now at this point. And we'll start breezing through here. Okay, so avoid horrors already appear for some reason. And his action there is teleporting me with, you know, his death trait, so to speak. Ow.
Ah, uh, something. The note there. You notice as lightning sort of went off in the like odd direction that um that lightning strike that the thunderer sort of did there. So he cast um lightning. And I guess um he did it in a very odd way for some reason. Never mind. Okay, there's at least a couple guys sort of coming in my direction, so Boom. Oh, damn, look at them all. Lots of guys in there. Lots and lots and lots of guys. Take him out before he causes any more issues. Lightbringer is doing its job, as you can see, just casually killing stuff. Let's do a bit of reloading. So, four turns. Whoop! I got Psyonic pulled by the uh, Blade Horde there. That was kind of annoying. Uh, let's do this now. So, this is basically going off and basically hitting everyone around me for a little bit of damage. And it's also maybe knocking these guys back a little bit as well. Lightbringer's gone, but okay, that's fine. I can breathe on them a little bit. I don't think any of these guys have like ranged attacks like, you know, the boulder throwers or anything like that, so... So that worked out quite well. Always fun to fight that type of uh, encounter, I guess. Hey, look at that. We got the uh, abandoned battlefield. That'll be fun to screw around in. Now we'll disturb these in our time. Those guys are all dealt with. Okay, so I'm going to leave the graveyard for now, and I'll come back to it. I'm just basically going to push on and try and clear the entire instance first, and then we'll do like, you know, the uh, temporal portal and it all in the same go. Hooray, we got that for the first time. Lead on, I'll protect you, warrior. Charge! Alright, where's your portal? Damn, so I've got a little bit of ways to go. Oh! Finally ran into these guys, so... Without further ado, we'll put those on. Because, you know, those are dangerous. Those are whores. Okay, you're going this way. Yeah, it still hit me, apparently. 
Where are you going? Northwest, so we're still going northwest. Are those like splash effects those uh, jellies are throwing at us? Okay, we're going this way now. There's a vault there, the giant's vault. Please don't tell me it's inside his vault. It's gonna be an issue if I have to go in here, because this is technically a vault in here, so... So, the exit portal is apparently right inside the damn vault. So it's not technically inside the actual vault, but it's close enough. Alright, thank you, blah blah, you made it all the way. Give me my loot. Okay, I could get myself technique, um, technique conditioning. That's not bad for improving my character's ability to sort of shrug off stuff, so... I might do that. Um... So I guess we'll do that. We're actually going to pick up conditioning, and that'll basically let me get um, conditioning talents, basically vitality, improve my healing a little bit. More importantly, I'll get like inflation resolve here, which will let me um, shrug off, you know, damage or you know, stuns and other type of effects that are really detrimental to my character. Okay, so there's this guy down here. Where there's one, there's two more. So there's the other two. So they're out of the way. I'm not sure I really need to worry about equipping this stuff to sort of fight them, but... I know that they can be da dangerous, right? We saw that with my uh, Florence Child Blade when they're just wrecking me. Repeatedly. about that. Kill more of these damn hatchlings. Okay. We found ourselves a f ice worm, interestingly enough. So boom. I think I killed him, or no, he's right there, so... Boink! Alright, that's done. Yeah, I'm just gonna back off from this encounter, because those guys are... Not, you know, something to screw around with. Okay, I'm gonna drop you down there, where hopefully he'll get damage from this. Activate that now. Boom. Boom. Nicely done. Okay, someone killed my Lightbringer, so... That's a bit concerning, something killed my Lightbringer. Might be like, you know, another type of Drake down here I have to worry about. Or maybe it's just this guy. Could be that too. Hey, look at that. There's a devourer coming for me. And a vampire, apparently. Okay, got no ammo, so we're just gonna back up, back up, back up. Lightbringer! Pow. Pow. I'm resisting the Bane! Hey, there's another one of those guys. Boom. 
Uh, I know these guys, you know, down there, so we're just gonna fire this way. Kill that guy. Interesting how I keep finding these damn monster rooms in Daikara, that's a new thing. Bit of lore. And we're not going to open these rooms, so we'll do that when we, you know, come back to do these levels. The car itself is actually fairly quick for a dungeon. It's just the fact that um, when you go in here, it's like the main thing that's really going to be sort of detrimental to sort of do. I lost my train of thought, but more or less... Um, the vaults are like really where a lot of the uh, action sort of takes place in Daikara. It's what makes you have to you know wait so long to do it. This instance. Oh, there's uh, Temple Rift. Bugs. I don't know if I kill it or not, but there goes that elite fighter. Alright. It went up that blood whore, I guess, so. Guess we killed it, so way out the confusion, keep going. Drill entry and That looks like it for this level, so that was a fairly quick run through the instance. Now, I basically want to put on this for Rampha, this for Rampha, and hopefully we won't have to worry too much about Rampha's, you know, meddling with my character, freezing it constantly and all that. Don't care about that so much. Other stuff in here is this mess, so we'll sell it. Push on. And where are you, Rampha? Hey, look at that. We got our greeting party already. Ow. Taking a slight beating from these guys. We got through them all, you know, all well and good. I guess it's good that this mentor's appearing because it means that I'll have the mentor knows that I ran into an ingredient need for something. Oh! You hit me in the face! Oh! You hit me in the face again! Stop hitting me in the face. Uh, we're just going to wait here for him to get down in my direction. I 
That worked out well. Sort of. He tried to race toward me with the movement infusion, but failed. I fight that. Okay, this guy is a Vem Drake. He's probably going to be something I want to kill first. Don't think I'm going to kill him first, but whatever. Drop that there. Hopefully he'll do some good damage to my Lightbringer. Good old Lightbringers, they do quite a bit of damage. Something at the dumb. And I got frozen by Ramfa. So there's Ramfa. Hi, Ramfa. What's up, Ramfa? Okay, you're not yet in range, but let's drop that there. Pow. Pow. Poink. And that's fine, we can just pop you away at uh, range. That's easy. I guess I sort of, you know, overestimate how dangerous, you know, she might be on a character like this. Don't really need either of those abilities anymore. So put on this. Put that back on. I might keep that for the master, just grounding steel ammo, I guess, but don't need that. I guess I'll put this back on because I don't really have anything better to put on for rings. So, nope, it's a self. I need better rings. That gives me resistance to physical, damage physical, physical save, not back immunity. It's not bad for maybe using over that. Uh, thing here, so we'll put it on. And I'm level 24, which means that I now have to worry about the Dark Crypt spawning, which is a bit of an issue, but not a major one, because I'm actually fairly decent with the setup I got already for this character, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's start boosting up my constitution at this point. Hey, look at that! There's the, uh, One of these guys is the unique warg, I think. There he is. Rongoth, the war titan. Hello, titan. Oh, dropped him in the wrong place. Boom, boom. Off. That didn't work out too well. I like this. Drop that. I got his fang! His lovely fang! So I'll now be able to detect beasts that run around whenever this is carried, so that's nice. I'm gonna keep that for when we get down to the chart scar when I get to it. That ring that was picked up. So in a nutshell, we've done Darkara. Hey, there's Spell Drinker. Spell Drinker is apparently some overpowered uh, dagger that recently got nerfed. I guess it's nice for resistance to arcane. You get some spell saves. What's notable about it is that it apparently seals up to 50 mana, you know, when you hit on a target with it, so it's really powerful for, like, mages to get their mana back. Also has, apparently, Dispersed Magic. That's worth noting, actually. We're just going to keep this. Dispersed Magic is actually really nice, to potentially, to, um, Dispersed Magic I don't want to be, uh, dealing with. Alright, what am I more scared of here? Finish him off. Kill him. 
Go this way. Boink. Like bring all damage some stuff. That's the only bad thing about telepathy, you know. I'm, I'm targeting the guy I don't want to be targeting because I see him. Hey, a meteor fell on top of me. Flying a meteor means that, um, well, if I want to, meteor crash is apparently here now. I can't make use of it on this character, really, but meteor crash, that's what you need to, you know, do for it. Uh, we're going to tumble away from these guys. Poink. Poink. Step away. Step away. Kill those guys. This looks like one of these, um... Oh. Something entirely different than what I was thinking about. Let's do that. Get rid of the worm. Okay, I'm gonna activate this right here so that, you know, these guys will take some damage. Okay, so I can't go through this Lightbringer for some reason. Even though it's like a friendly. Eh, look at that, I can still see him. Okay, there's another worm, apparently, right there. It's fine, it's odd how I keep finding these damn vaults now with like, you know, enemies like this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Kill that guy. Gonna wait. So these guys are all in, in a vault, so yeah, these guys are just a regular monster vault apparently up here. If you escape enemies annoying these guys. Ow. I fight that. Let's drop Lightbringer right there. Burn these guys a little bit. Let's step out of that. These guys are all going to take a little bit of damage from Lightbringer and fire and everything else that's attacking them. Lightbringer's about to die, but, you know, he served his purpose as just, you know, Opening up the battle. So that was interesting. Alright, I think at this point we're just going to go back to the first entrance and then next time I'm just going to start the video going through the vaults and then we'll just go from there. And that'll be the plan. Nope, not gonna go there. We're just gonna go the first entrance where those uh, lovely um, tomb vaults were. I'm a little bit um, unnerved about the amount of escorts I've been getting. I've only gotten this guy, that guy, this guy, and that guy. So we've only gotten four so far. It means I'm gonna get a bunch of them in Dreadfall and um, a bunch of others in Corpool. No, so we'll basically come back to do these um, graves when we get to it, and then hopefully I won't have too much of an issue getting to the Dark Crypt, or getting into the Dark Crypt early, because I, I prefer to get through to the Ruined Halfling Complex after I get, you know, out of Daikara. Anyhow, for now, we're good, so take care.